Hello everybody, this is Ellen and some of you have expressed some confusion about where and how to find my feedback on your assignments. So I'm making this short video to um, demonstrate exactly where you can find it. And um, there's two ways to do it. So the most straightforward way is to go into your grades um, in the menu on the left side of the screen. So just click on grades and it will show all of our assignments, the scores that you've gotten. You can see I've only submitted one sample assignment as a student and um, the, the total points possible. And then there are these little icons on the right. So the first one is the comment that I've given on your assignment. So you can see this one is um, saying that I have not yet earned an approved research question and I need to submit a revision. You can ignore the little check mark icon the other one that's useful is the rubric. So you can click on the rubric. And I admit that this is not, I don't think Canvas makes this quite as clear as it could be. I wish that it made it clearer by highlighting one of these boxes um, where uh, I've placed you in this range of grades. Um, but you can see over on the right, it will say, okay, I've gotten two out of two points on this part of the assignment. And um, usually in that case, I don't give you any comments on that part if you've received the full points. You can see on the second line, I've gotten zero out of four points. So this box here represents zero um, points and it, it explains why. So these are the, all of the possible reasons why someone might get zero points on this assignment. Um, the question is unclear, it's a closed question, it's too broad or too narrow or it's not phrased as a question or any combination of those issues. So then if you look to the left under instructor comments for that row, you can see that in this case, there's very specific information about um, which of those issues um, were present in, in my sample assignment. So you can see um, that it's uh, not phrased as a question and that I've been asked to resubmit a revision with an open-ended question. And same with the next line, you can see the instructor comments saying specifically what the issues were with the keywords, and you can see that I got one out of three points because my keywords could be improved. Um, same again, a comment with the, um, the final row of the rubric. So if that's a little confusing to figure out, you can also see the, the same information and I think of a more visually helpful way by going into the assignment itself. So you can go to modules and just like you did when you were completing the assignment in the first place, you can go into that assignment and it will show you, okay, I've turned it in, here's the file I submitted, and it says view rubric evaluation, and then it does have, in tiny lettering, um, the specific comments on the assignment. So it's telling me here I need to submit a revision, but to see more detail about exactly what revisions I need to make, I would click on the view rubric evaluation, and it's showing the rubric here, this is where it's um, a little confusing. You can see that it's, it's clearer um, where I've been placed on the rubric in each category. And if I click on the additional comments, it will tell me specifically what I need to do differently in that area of the assignment. But to see the assignment itself, I have to close out of this rubric this is hidden a little because of how um, the, just the size of my screen. But you can see my assignment is here. There's a little icon that allows me to view the assignment itself, which I recommend that you do because sometimes, and you will see in this example, um, sometimes I also put notations on the assignment in itself. In this case, I've um, crossed out part of the question that wasn't really part of the question, it was just the, the pretend student expressing an interest in this topic. Um, and then if I want to, again, I can show the rubric and um, look at the 
feedback again. So I have all of the things in one place. I have um, the instructor comments, where I've been placed on the rubric based on the assignment I submitted, and any feedback on the assignment itself all in one place. So I do that by going back into the assignment um, that I, I first, um, the way I first submitted it. And then if I want to submit a revision, I can do that right here, resubmit assignment. So I hope that answers any questions that you have. If not, definitely let me know. And um, thank you for working with me as we both explore Canvas together.